Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to create a Hello World Android application and in the last tutorial I created this emulator and uh, ran it and we're going to use that to see our application running in this tutorial. So in Eclipse I'm going to go to File and New Android Application Project now I'm going to give this um, a name and I'm actually going to work towards building a little sample application that lets you um, just enter some notes and save them. So I'm going to call this uh, Note Squirrel and uh, the project name, so this is a, this is a name that um, people are actually going to see in the Play Store and uh, this is the name, just the name of your project in Eclipse and you should give it a, um, a unique package name and you can just basically completely make that up it could be even, as long as it's unique it could even just be like one um, you know, it's, it's not got practice but you could have a random string of lowercase letters if you wanted but the convention is if you have a website um, like I've got caveofprogramming.com you reverse that to make it com.caveofprogramming so I'll have com.caveofprogramming and I'll create a package called Android there and under that I'll have a specific package for this um, application um, which I'll call Note Squirrel and um, I'm going to build this with um, let's build it with um, Android 2.33 and let's say that the minimum required SDK is um, it's also 2.33 gingerbread here. So um, really you want the minimum required SDK to be as, as low as possible, as ancient as possible, so that as many people can run your application as possible. But of course the further back you go, the less of the newer features of Android you can use. And um, it's always going to be sort of a compromise. And this is the SDK that you're actually building with. And um, I figure I'll just use um, 2.33 here. Um, now I'm going to leave these um, these as their defaults and I'll click next here and I'll just um, go through these screens and accept the defaults and um, click next and okay so I've got um, an interesting error message here, it's not really an error message, it's just informing me that I've got to click something here so I'm going to do that and I'm going to come back very shortly. Okay, so I'm back and it looks like my application has been um, created. I It only took like um, 30 seconds to install the stuff that it said it needed to install. And Eclipse is having a thing. When you first create projects, often they have errors in. Um, it seems this one doesn't. But often you'll see an error icon and that will then go away if you're patient, usually quite quickly within like um, a minute and if it doesn't there probably really is something wrong but it'll often say like um, uh, building layout or something down here and then the error will go away when, when that's finished but this is um, just because I've created this project this is actually a runnable hello world Android project and to run it I'm just gonna select it and click this green run button and run it as an Android application click OK and um, we're going to see that now um, I don't know if something's gone wrong with my console because usually you see information down here but it does say that it's launching Note Squirrel and let's just have a look at this and with a bit of luck here we go and we've got a hello world uh, message in the emulator um, so that's it for this tutorial and um, in the next tutorial um, probably we're going to get on to customizing this application. We're going to start looking at views and view groups and um, we're going to change this to an edit text so that you can edit, you can um, type text in here. So join me again next time and you can find more details about this course at www.caveofprogramming.android and until next time, happy coding.